shoes. I've been back at ballet for about a year and a half now and I started taking point classes about a month ago. You know, my teacher pulled me aside after class, after the second lesson and said basically that she thinks my legs are strong enough, I'm ready to go and get point shoes. And after three point shoe fittings, because my feet are awkward as hell, I finally have my shoesies. These are Block Balance European in a five and a half narrow and I finally got around to sewing the ribbons on. I haven't had a class yet because there was some misunderstanding on Saturday. We got an email saying class had been cancelled and then it wasn't cancelled but I didn't go. So I haven't had a chance to try these out yet, properly dancing in them. But I can't actually quite believe that I've got there. As a kid, when I was dancing, point shoes were for those kids that were amazing, that were really good, that were going to do the vocational grades. And I just sort of accepted that I wasn't ever going to be good enough. And now I'm doing a hell of a lot of ballet a week. Um, my technique's improved, my leg strength has improved. And, you know, I'm finally in a position to start doing point and use my point shoes. One thing I'm actually more excited about than getting my point shoes is the fact that my ballet teacher thinks I'm going to be able to do my intermediate exam. She's willing to work with me to work towards it. So that's, I'm really, really flattered that she thinks I'm going to be good enough to do that. Like I said, when I was dancing as a kid, vocation, the vocational level stuff was just for absolutely amazing students. And I thought there's no way I'm ever going to be able to attempt that. And to think, that my teacher's willing to put me in for an exam. Okay, still further down the line than I am at the moment, but the fact she's willing to let me work towards it is pretty amazing. And in some my one of my advanced adult ballet classes, we're actually doing stuff from the advanced foundation and advanced one syllabus. And if you'd told me ten years ago that I could even sort of attempt doing something like that, I would just I wouldn't believe you. I mean, advanced one stuff in particular is ridiculously tricky and I'm not doing it with good technique or any sort of up to any sort of good standard but with practice I'm getting there I'm not planning on doing an exam next week so um yeah I just can't believe how far I've come really and I really appreciate that my teacher's willing to put in the work if I'm willing to put in the work to get me up to intermediate standard and hopefully once I've done that further exams beyond that. I made a promise to myself that I wouldn't buy any more leotards or dance wear until my teacher gave me the go-ahead to get my point shoes. Um, because A, I buy way too much dance wear, and B, I definitely didn't think you'd say I could do it within two weeks. But I have my point shoes now, and so I've also gone shopping and bought other things. So obviously, main event are my new point shoes. They're ribbon sewn on. These are block balance European in a five and a half narrow so the drawstring pulls quite tight because I've got really narrow ankles um, so yeah the drawstring just sort of hugs my heel quite nicely um, I haven't cut the drawstring on the inside yet but what I quite like about them is it's squishy down up down there it's squishy where your toes rest because my toes are completely pathetic there were some point shoes that I tried on that the fitter was saying these fit these look really nice on your feet and I'm like I, I can't even roll up in them. I can't, I'm not willing to put my toes on them. They're so bloody uncomfortable. Um, these aren't, I wouldn't say these are comfortable, but these aren't, these aren't painful. And these are quite nice. And then when I've got some gel toe inserts, so this is the box. This is just to help my toes out a bit more. So these are rumpf. And these are just what the fitter stuff said, stick these on your feet. So I didn't really have much of a choice, but they seem to help. Um, and they look like that. They just slip over your toes, provide me a bit more protection. I also bought three leotards because you can never have enough leotards. I have bought all these leotards block because pretty much all my dance wear is block. They seem to do leotards in a longer length because uh, I'm tall, so they seem to fit me a bit better. Now this is absolutely good. This is a halter neck leotard in a royal purple. Um, I'll insert some pictures of what these actually look like on. But it's halter neck, it's a zip all the way down the back and it's really, really, really pretty. 
it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this colour. And it's quite nice to just have a different neckline. I've got a plain black tank leotard. It's not the fanciest thing in the universe, but uh, several of my classes, all the kids wear black, so I look a bit odd sometimes wearing my bright coloured leotards and it's nice to fit in. And when we do shows, we always need a black leotard, so what's the harm in having another one? Very simple, just a little ruching at the front um, by your boobs. And then exactly the same in this blue colour. And this blue one, for some reason, is actually slightly, I haven't worn this one yet, is actually a bit more flattering. It seems to be cut nicer in the arse. Um, but yeah, it's very simple, but it looks really, really nice on me. I think it's sort of built for my proportions, which is really nice. So with the royal blue leotard, I've also got this royal blue little skirt. It also goes quite nicely with my black leotards. So I've got several black skirts and I thought I'd just mix it up and add some colour in there. So that's all the new stuff I've bought recently. I'm really excited about my point in intermediate classes and I will do another update when I've actually had a chance to dance in my point shoes. See you later!